first stage is occlusal reduction. Using a parallel sided medium grit burr, prepare the occlusal surface to a depth of one millimeter for metal. Follow the cusp outline so that you maintain the form of the tooth and use a smooth continuous action supporting your burr hand with your free hand. The functional cusp bevel is a two millimeter bevel placed on the palatal cusps of the upper teeth. Again, use a smooth continuous action to prepare the tooth. After the occlusal reduction has been finished, the surfaces can be refined using a fine grit burr. Here, you use a very light action to give a much smoother finish. Interproximal reduction is carried out using a fine pointed burr. Use a smooth continuous action and support your burr hand at all times. It's important to avoid damage to ad the adjacent tooth. It may be possible to use a small metal strip inserted between the teeth to protect the adjacent tooth. Once you have cleared the interproximal contact, the process is repeated for the distal surface. Again, use a sl smooth continuous action and support the burr hand to prevent slippage and damage to the adjacent tooth. Use a smooth continuous action, supporting your burr hand at all times to gradually break through the interproximal surface. After interproximal reduction, the margin is prepared using a parallel sided round ended medium grit burr to give a chamfer preparation. A smooth action is used supporting the burr hand. Buckle reduction is carried out using a parallel sided round ended medium grit burr. 0.7 mm to 1 mm reduction is employed using a chamfer margin. A smooth continuous action will ensure that the preparation is as smooth as possible. A two plane approach is used by altering the angle of the burr for the coronal section. This will help to follow the outline of the tooth. This is repeated on the palatal surface with a chamfer margin but only a single plane is employed because of the pre-existing functional cusp bevel. After all the margins have been prepared, check them for smoothness and refine using a fine grit burr. The buckle cusp is then finally prepared to a total depth of two millimeters to allow for the use of ceramic material on the buckle cusp slope. The outline of the cuspal inclines is followed to maintain resistance form.